Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello friends. In today's video, we will be learning about different type of er error handling in playbooks. So, first of all, error handling. So, Ansible normally has default that makes sure to check the return codes of commands and modules and it fails fast forcing an error to be dealt with unless you decide otherwise so basically ansible pro provides us with normal default settings through which we can deal with an error occurring in our ansible scripts but sometimes a command that returns a different other than zero isn't an error so in that case we need to report that it has changed the remote system so the basic uh, the basic objective of having the error handling is that sometimes the output is not expected as an error and that is the reason why we need to define the boundaries of an error occurrence so generally playbooks will stop executing any more steps on a host if a task fail and if you want to continue from that phase we can write a task which looks like this so here we are defining a name and it will not be counted as a failure and the command and the ignore errors we are ignoring the errors as yes so basically the name of the task which we don't want to be counted as failure the command which will be acting on the task and the third thing is that we are defining a parameter which states that ignore errors and it is yes so it will simply ignore the failed command which will come down under this task parameter the second method is by resetting unreachable hosts so the connection failure set as hosts as unreachable which will remove them from the list of active hosts for the run so to recover from these issues we can use meta clear underscore host underscore error to have all currently flagged hosts reactivated so in case if we want to reset our unreachable host if we if some hosts are unreachable and we want to make them reachable then we can use simply use this meta in the playbook to make them reachable the third type is handlers and failures so when a task fails on a host handler which were previously notified will not be run on that host and uh, it can lead to cases where we have unrelated failure and unexpected state so in this case if you want we we can configure our handlers to e even work on the failed part of our playbook or they can simply stop working so that we are not given with an unrelated failure this control defines a failure so ansible's basically let us define what is failure from our end also so in case if there are some conditions which we uh, submit to as a failure then we can simply write some commands like here is an example we can name the task so fail task when the command error output prints failed and the command which will be working in that task and we will also define a register which is basically the result of the command and we are specifying the failure the failure configuration that is failed underscore when so that failure will only be defined as per this given parameter which we gave in this setting so this is a basic template through which we can control what defines the failure and the last and the last method for using blocks is that we can uh, use the blocks in the error handling so most of what we can apply to a single task can be applied at block level also which also makes it easier to set data or directive common to the task so in case if you want to apply our blocks to multiple tasks then we can use the given template or given set of commands so here we have task and the name and we have specially added a block parameter so block parameter what it will do is that it will basically uh, 
block the given task under this parameter like if you are doing a debugging then there is a message i execute normally and the name is i force a failure so basically it's coming under block so once it is executed it will normally show as the given execution so under the block parameter whatever we states it will be set to data or directive common to the task and it will be simply applied as a block so these are some basic settings which we can do for the error handling in ansible environment and that was all for today's video thank you